Tim Larkin, Bossier City Council member. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. A right, couple Good of morning, issues. Sir. Couple of issues are on our uh, agenda today. First, let's start with the privatization of uh, water and sewer uh, in Bossier City. Tell us how that came about. What what sparked that? Aaron, 15 years ago, the Bossier Council decided that um, they would take the uh, renewing of our water and sewer system um, seriously. Uh, the systems that were built in the 50s and 60s are wearing out. Ours is one of them. We decided to uh, begin a, a, a process of uh, modernizing the system. And um, what you're starting to see now is, is evidence of our success in modernizing that system. The same administration and workforce and people who operated that old antiquated system are not the same people that are going to be operating this new one. Who will be operating the new system? When we started our renewal, um, again, back uh, almost maybe more than 15 years ago, uh, in order to make that uh, technological change, we hired a, a, a um, group of engineers who are uh, very familiar with water and sewer systems, and they began to help us uh, and consult with us uh, you know, to build this, this new uh, technologically advanced system. Those engineers now um, are the ones that um, are beginning to see that it's um, time to begin to operate that new system in uh, technologically advanced ways. The name of that um, group is uh, Man Shack Consulting. Tim, will this, what will the average public, what will they see? Will they see better service, lower rates? What, what are they going to see? It's more about what they won't see. They won't see higher rates because we ignored this problem like they are seeing in many other places. In many other places, the public is part of the monthly payment that they're paying on their water and sewer bill is fines to the EPA because the system operators that they are uh, that, that they are in uh, yeah, are failed to uh, do the very thing that uh, I'm talking about here that the Bossier City Council has done. This will mean some jobs, though. Is that accurate? It does. It means that it means the jobs change. For instance, um, I, I dare say there's not many people in the city of Bossier that know that. Uh, um, little by little, over a period of time, we've been changing out the water meters. The, the water meters uh, that of yesterday are ones that, that they, they wear out. They're made of old metals from yesteryear. You have to go by and read them every month. You have to have a group of people to do that. We now have meters that we read on a computer. You don't have to drive around and do them. That, that, so that's a different job. you got a guy that's looking at a computer now and reading a meter where you had guys running around in pickup trucks and flat tires and gas and overtime and, and all those things that um, that don't make sense now. And so those things that don't make sense now are the things that we need to eliminate, and the things that do make sense now are the things that we need to operate. Could some of the city workers that will face losing their jobs, could they ultimately go work? For this private entity? It's entirely possible. Um, it, it all depends on their skills. Um, if you have an old antiquated water and sewer system and those and you're and you're operating that antiquated system uh, with a workforce, they're doing things that they no longer will be doing if you're operating a brand new technologically advanced system. And and so the people who had jobs that were doing things before those jobs don't exist anymore. New opportunities are there, but they're they're much more efficient. They're uh, they're slimmed down, and and they answer the the uh, the needs of 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 the people um, in terms of uh, just keeping things uh, operating at the uh, at the very best um, and lowest and efficient way that they can be done. Let me ask you, we're talking to Bossier City Councilman Tim Larkin. Uh, you guys, I'm not sure how long ago, but uh, you privatized garbage collection, as many communities did. I know, you are you know better than I do that people complain. You get the calls. I don't get the calls. Um, or do you have concerns with regard to privatizing water and sewer 
that customers won't be as happy as they were when the city was handling it. Well, you certainly you, you certainly have to be concerned with the the net effect of of making any changes. Um, and uh, um, given that we have, you know, we made a commitment to the people to, to fix the water and sewer system and to avoid the problems that so many other communities are having. Now that we've fixed it, what we owe it to the people is to operate it the way it was envisioned to operate, which is um, at, 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 a, at an, in a more efficient way.